All right, I wanna show a couple uh, tips and tricks for mounting your shaggy blind. Um, not everybody has the same boat. Um, as you can see here, this is a, a, a custom boat uh, that we're installing a blind on here. Um, these these uh, shaggy blind kits and the fast grass blind kits come with these uh, brackets. These brackets are meant to go on the, the transom of your boat. Um, as you can see here, this transom is angled. So there's no way to get this bracket to work with this blind kit. Um, so what I've had to do is have somebody uh, custom fabricate these little brackets here that go on this angled transom to make it so you've got a horizontal bolt so the blind can pivot on. Um, so there's a million different ways that you could, you know, figure out how to get a horizontal bolt here, but the one that comes with the kit is not going to work. Um, on the, on the front, it comes with a single mount right here that usually works on most boats that will usually just sit on the deck somewhere right here. And, um, it's your front fulcrum for the, for the blind uh, bars. Um, as you can see, this boat's got a big giant decoy hatch here that we didn't want to cover up. Uh, we didn't want, you know, you'd pretty much uh, make this hatch useless if we had this bracket here somewhere. Even if it was here, your material's still going to be laying over the, the hatch and not be able to use it. So what we did is just found a spot where, again, we had some horizontal pivots, just drilled some quarter inch stainless bolts through this um, bulkhead here and now it's acting as our um, fulcrum for this blind. Um, another thing is, is the, these, these uh, kits come for boats anywhere up to 20 feet. This is a 20 foot boat. Um, you can put them on anything up to a, a, a five foot boat if you wanted to. You just need to uh, cut these bars down to exactly where you want them to and then um, just put the self tappers in there to hold them together. Um, uh, you can see in the instructions how we use these, but I'll go over it again real quick. These are uh, gunnel brackets. Uh, you can mount these in a million different ways. Uh, there's no T-rail on this boat. Uh, so this one is just drilled right into the side of the, the gunnel uh, for this strap. Uh, if you have a T-rail, then you can use those same brackets and a carriage bolt or uh, some kind of T-bolt and you won't have to drill any holes at all. They'll just sit right on that T-rail. Um, another quick tip here is uh, height of this, of these bars. What you want to do is set up some kind of a chair, get your buddy in here, whatever, and figure out um, where these bars are going to sit in relation to uh, the hunter when they're in here using it. Uh, so I just grabbed a chair and figured out exactly how high I wanted this bar. Um, I like it right about eye level. Once I put the grass or the shaggy material on there, it's gonna sit, uh, you know, four or five inches above the bar with the material. So that's gonna be perfect um, to hide. The, the grass is going to stick up um, into this channel here and it'll almost make you disappear completely. Uh, so those are a few tips for boats that are, um, you know, uncommon that don't have a, a common transom, don't have a common um, front storage area. Uh, so we, you can still use our, our blind kits on, on any boat you want.